All right, and we're back. All right, too much to handle. Uh, Haruhe Shigima. Summary of previous events. Haruhe and Richter break into the Shiro Ishii residence with the detectives. They find a journal left behind by the deceased EY, finally revealing the mystery behind the kidnapping. However, Haruhe remains unsatisfied. In further news... Today, the body of an adult male was discovered in the residence of one Toshiko Shiraishi around noon. The man, identified as Kankichiro Iwai, is said to have been in a relationship with Toshiko. He was unemployed at his time of death. While further investigations are still underway, it is suspected that his death is connected to the recent serial killings in Hanjo. Evidence on the scene may also implicate Mr. Iwai in the unsolved child abduction murder case from last year. Well, ma'am, it seems like we've managed to settle one part of the kidnapping case for now. Let's begin discussing our next steps. Right. So fax machine isn't clicked yet. There's too much fluff. I wish they'd cut out the pointless stories and just report on what's important. I already got that. I wonder what kind of music Richter is into. I imagine he likes English songs. No matter how much I look at the flowers, they don't make me feel anything. I've grown so used to seeing the scroll, I don't really give it a second thought. He's always going at his own pace. He's rather fascinating. Judging by the official announcement, it seems that EY wrote it, what EY wrote is likely true. We both, uh, with both the kidnapper and his young accomplice dead, the police should be able to handle the rest. Now that it's over, I can't help but think how pitiful it all is. We never would have known a thing had we not found his journal. Carelessness is what usually leads to crimes like these being exposed. It was pretty much the same with the Nejima murders. But stumbling across the answers by pure chance really, really makes you think. It makes my skin crawl to think of how many cases like this are left undiscovered. Me too. It's certainly disturbing. Well, with the kidnapping case all wrapped up, we can focus on our efforts on obtaining the right of resurrection, yes? Indeed. I'm counting on you. Alright, let's reassess this curse situation. Right. I must admit, I never expected the police to be so on top of things. The Chief Inspector, Tetsuo Satsumi, provided us with good wealth of information. I'm surprised he knew so much about the curse bearers. Do you think they noticed I'm one of them? I'm pretty sure Aereo didn't. The chief inspector, on the other hand, will have to be careful around him. But if he had suspected anything, I'm sure he would have detained us. We should stay vigilant moving forward. Agreed. Even if we steal a curse stone, you may not be able to su successfully perform the ride unless you're a curse bearer yourself. Would you be okay with hanging on to the stone from now on? Of course. Just don't use it though, okay? All right. What we've heard is true. There are just three curse bearers left to be discovered. There's the Whispering Canal, the Beckoning Light, and the Taiko of Suguru left to investigate. It may, benefit, it may benefit us to visit the places connected to these stories a few times. I see. I'm still highly suspicious of the people at Hihaku Soaps. They could be the ones pulling the strings. That Takumi Yumi Oka fella is probably aware of the curse bearers we're searching for. Tracking his movements may prove to be useful. You want to follow him? If we were to follow anyone, he'd be my first choice, but... Damn it, times like this really have me wishing I had more personnel. I imagine it's tough working on your own. It's the plight of running a small business. I'm always on the hunt for a skilled assistant. 
And then there's Nejima, who appears to be a curse bearer too. The one-sided reed, I think it was. If we want to look for someone that's likely to gather a whole lot of soul dregs, well, look no further. He did say he would unleash his curse on a large number of people at nightfall. If he gets the chance to, if the chief inspector manages to track down Michio, then, well, there's a chance he'll manage to apprehend Nejima before he gets up to no good. But why did you tell the chief inspector about the safe house, if he hadn't had that lead? It was written in EY's memoirs. It was just a matter of time till he found out. Besides, we're talking about a massacre here. Can't just turn a blind eye. How different is it from any other curse bearer collecting soul dregs? Well, if we're talking Nejima, it could be a lot more dangerous. We'll just keep a close eye on Nejima and the cops. What about that girl from before, Aomi Tono? Do you think she could be a curse bearer? Well, there's a chance she could have gone and stolen someone else's curse stone by now. That's possible too, but... We haven't been to Midorichi Park yet, the place connected to the Taiko of Suguru. Ah, right, that's close to where she lives. What if she was a curse bearer this entire time? She could have lied. It's possible. It would make her a brilliant actress to boot. The idea's got me itching to investigate her again. That place is rather suspicious. If only we could run into someone there. Richter. Yes. Um. Ah, that's right. Would you mind if we make a stop on our way? We can make it quick. I apologize for the diversion, but I'd like to visit a candy store if possible. Um, I suppose I don't mind. Alright, we got everything. Except for the fax machine. Then shall we depart? From this part on, you'll be given the option to finish investigation, which will allow you to immediately end this part. From there, you can continue on to the next part. You may also come back and restart the section from the point at which you left off. Midoricho Park. Richter seemed to be a little nervous when Iomi Tono was mentioned, or was I just imagining it? We've reason to believe the curse bearer of the Ty Taiko of Suguru was here last night. It's possible they're already dead, but we haven't found any def definitive leads. Everyone is relaxing so peacefully in the park. It's hard to imagine it was the site of some horrid curse. Hey, that lady over there. That's Iomi Tono. She seems to be trying to hide. We don't want to startle her and have her run off on us. Let's sit and watch her for now. Doesn't look like she's planning to move anytime soon. Alright, I'll be back. Ah, he's gone. I suppose he really wanted to talk with her. Oh, there he is. Does he mean to jump out and surprise her from behind? Huh. Does he mean to intimidate her? Ah, she noticed. I guess his purpose was to talk with her after all. I wonder what they're talking about. She doesn't look like she's planning to run. Oh, they're coming here. Here she is. What do you think? Smooth work by the master, huh? Yes, very smooth. Hello, thank you so much for yesterday. I know this is sudden, but I'm actually being pursued right now. Pursued? By who? I think it's the police. Would you be willing to provide me with a shelter? From the police. I figured we could hear her out and see what kind of mess she's gotten herself in. Don't make it sound like I'm some kind of criminal, please. The police have my apartment staked out, so I haven't been able to return home. I heard them say something about wanting to protect me, but something didn't feel right and I got scared. Do you have any idea why they're after you? Well, I have been searching for the curses, so... We shouldn't trouble ourselves with hiding you if they're after you for a good reason. Huh? How cruel! But this handsome investigator wouldn't turn me in so easily, would you? It's unfortunate, but we've got reason not to get involved with the police ourselves. What shady reasoning? But if you've got some murky secret to hide, we might as well cooperate with each other, no?
Anyway, how are your plans to resurrect H Hokusa going? Ah, fortunately, that's been going quite well. Oh? Does that mean you found someone to steal a curse stone from? Not exactly, but I found out a kind of last resort. Which is why I can't let the police get me. What do you mean by last resort? You really asking me that? It doesn't concern you at all? Why should I tell you? Ugh. What if we make a deal? In exchange for keeping you hidden from the police, you'll tell us about your last resort. Huh, is that what got you interested? Oh, I've got it. You're meaning to steal it for yourself. Not at all. I'm just curious. That excuse will just not do. I don't need you to. I'll find a way to stay safe on my own. That was a close one. I should have known the only one you can count on in this world is yourself. Huh. Can't let her get away. Let's go after her. Stop it! Get any closer and I'll scream. Please, wait. We'll help you out, with no conditions. Well, you changed your mind quick. That just makes you all the more suspicious. Tried my best, but I couldn't convince her to stay. Could it be you don't know how to handle a girl like that? Hmm. Since she's looking for a safe haven, would you mind me sharing your address with her, just in case? Well, it doesn't really bother me, but you do recognize there are police officers in my close family. At least it'll allow us a way to keep in contact, no matter how small. Alright, is that all that's here? Can't help but feel oddly irritated around that girl, Ayami Tono. She puts on an innocent front, but she seems to be hiding something. Yeah, I got that feeling as well. Uh, Kinshibori? The area was closed off to the public this morning after the body was found, but the police quickly managed to complete their investigation and reopened the park as if nothing ever happened. People in the area are shockingly calm considering what happened here. You'd think they'd be put off knowing there was a dead body here just this morning. From what I heard, it happened right about where you're standing now. Eek! Um, would you look at that? It's a pretty unique looking playground. Did it catch your eye? Perhaps. Now is not the time, though. But it did get you interested. Does he want to play on it? You made it quite the challenge to pass through it. You'd have to go underneath there. He definitely wants to play on it. You can go take a look if you're that interested. Hmm. All right. I'll go check it out just to make sure. He didn't have to think long about that. Hmm? What's that? Did he find something? I found a marking bird under the playground equipment. Damn, talk about lucky. It's number 19, Penny Prattle. So we've got three so far. I see, congrats. Playgrounds always get me all fired up. Telephone booth. It doesn't look out of the ordinary to me. Okay. Is that all? A bunch of kids gather around Richter to poke fun at his clothing. It seems like kids come running for him wherever, wherever we go. Not all too surprising with his attire. He hasn't complained about it, though. I wonder if he's got a soft spot for kids. Because he's on their wavelength? This place is associated with the Whispering Canal. The canal must be connected to the man who was drowned down, down word at the park. Agreed. Wasn't the victim a Hihaku Soaps employee? That's right, his name was Shogo Okie. Considering his occupation, he probably came here in search of a curse stone. People in the company know about the right. It only makes sense they'd be looking for the curse stones. You think the chairwoman and Takumi would send their regular employee out to hunt for the stones? If that's the case, perhaps the Shogo died trying to take a stone from someone else. Either that or... He was killed precisely because he was a curse bearer with a curse stone. I suppose so, but... Considering the location, wouldn't that mean the curse used was the Whispering Canal? Good point. That would mean Shogo Okie wasn't the wielder of the Whispering Canal curse himself. Could he, ha could he have had the Beckoning Light? Or even the Taiko of Suguru? I was here last night, and there weren't any dead bodies then. It's highly possible he was brought here from somewhere else. If that's the case, the wielder of the Whispering Canal has already collected his stone. Ah, ma'am, excuse me, but there's one more thing I'd like to try. Oh, be my guess. Shogo Okie is the name of the person who died here. 
It's hard to believe he was here by chance, only to end up murdered with a curse. Given his ties to Hihaku, we can assume he was aware of the situation and somehow involved with these curses. Okay, but what did you want to try? Did two curse bearers battle it out here last night? Who could the other person have been? He said that there was something else that he wanted to try, but I don't see anything. Richter, what do you think that is? Oh. Um, I don't see anything. Really, you don't see that? That thing looks like a phantom ball of flame floating in the air. Ball of flame? Must be a curse echo. Maybe only the curse bearers are capable of seeing it. What could such a thing happen in broad daylight? Ah. It's gone. Hmm. I wonder if that was the beckoning, beckoning light's curse echo. That phantom flame you saw might have been a manifestation of the lantern. In that case, does that mean a curse bearer is nearby? Hmm, it doesn't seem like anyone's been here for some time. I wonder if it's one of the factories that got shut down when they tightened up regulations. Curse bearer might be lurking in the vicinity. I'm gonna check out the surroundings. Ah! Ha! Ha! Nothing. I didn't find anyone who looked the part. I see. I don't doubt something happened around here, but something might have changed in the area. Keep your eyes peeled. Hmm. Doesn't seem like anyone's been here for some time. Something draw your interest? No worries here. I made sure to take a quick shower this morning. What you saw earlier might have been the beckoning light. Something might have changed after what just happened. But I don't see anything that's changed. And if what I saw was the curse echo of the beckoning light, wouldn't that mean the curse bearer is nearby? I'm not feeling any strange presence, but that could be because it's midday. Hmm, Sonoya, the children seem pretty fond of this place. Looks comparatively new. They must have had renovations done not long ago. There are some vending machines. You can buy canned juice for 100 yen. These days, vending machines sell a lot of things besides juice, too. He's up in front with the kids to participate in the raffle. It's weird seeing an adult his age enjoying himself so much at a candy store. Oh, it seems he didn't win anything. He's pouting so hard even the kids are laughing at him. Oh, right, ma'am. Should we go for manjayaki or something? That's sweet of you, but I'm not hungry right now. That's too bad. I haven't had great luck with this mockingbird raffle. Would you mind if I tried a few more times? Apparently most of these are just re replicas of the real deal, but even so, they're well worth the price. Some of the kids were saying they managed to snatch some real rare finds in the slaughtery. Go ahead. Don't buy them all now. Just let me know when you want to leave, okay? Okay, okay. He's up in front. Yeah. Whoa, no way. Jeez, you made me jump. It's Mockingbird number 14, Falcon Man. This guy's a real speed demon. Oh, is that right? 
It's kind of scary how you even know the exact number with just a simple glance. The shop's close to the park, so children have been coming and going without pause. Places like this candy shop have been slowly disappearing from the street view recently. It's almost, it almost feels like I came here with a child. My boy never had much of a taste for sweets. It makes this kind of a fresh experience for me. Um, don't see anything else that we can do here. thing we can interact with over here is the factory. It said something's changed, but there doesn't appear to be anything like here. there's anything here either. Naomi Tono says her plans for the Rite of Resurrection may be achievable through this last resort. Does that mean she's given up on her plan to steal a curse stone? Richter. Hmm. You know, I have one as well. A last resort. You do? Ah. Even if we don't steal another curse stone... I already have my own. If it becomes necessary, I am prepared to use it. Hmm, so you think it might be possible that she has one of her own too? But that she despises the idea of using it to kill others, so instead she means to steal a curse stone with soul drugs already in it. it. Doesn't contradict anything we know. She lives nearby, which means she might have the Taiko of Suguru at curse stone. We still don't know much about that one. Richter. The last resort I only spoke of could be our chance. We can use her. I hear you loud and clear. Guess let's go back home. It annoys me that uh, it seems like in a lot of places there are things that just don't check mark. Alright, we're all done here. Alright, let's finish investigation. What was that? Mystery person. That's the one we just played. Let's play through this one. Boss, I just talked to the Smita police. Oh, what now? They found an abandoned van in the cheap mountains that looked like it had been an accident. They couldn't lift any fingerprints from it, but they found blood splatters on the front. And guess what? The blood is a perfect match for Michio's. Oh ho! So it must be the van that hit Michio. You got it. It's all thanks to Yoshima, uh, Yoshimi that we were able to find that out. The license plate had been removed, though, and they even scraped off the vehicle's identification number. It'll take a while to identify the owner. Now they're trying to figure out if the van was sighted anywhere between the scene of the crime and where it was dumped. Got it. Thanks for the report. 
He still doesn't look tired after all this running around. Wish I still had all that stamina. It's nice that we got permission to use the school as our base of operations. The principal and head teacher were a little reluctant at first, but they were convinced that it would help the investigation. Dealing with all this must be a real headache for those guys. I should thank them again later. Boink. Uh, mockingbird enthusiast. Collect five mockingbird st stickers. Uh, we can't go any further that way. Can't look in or up. All right. By the way, boss, we've confirmed that Michio died in a ve vehicular collision. But are we sure that it was really an accident? Good question. I was wondering the same thing. The damage done by the collision indicates that the driver was traveling at a considerable speed, but there were no brake marks to be found. Exactly. Which suge suggests that they may intentionally be... be which suggests that they may have been intentionally retargeting Michio. Then what was the motive, you think? Who would have reason to kill Michio? First person that comes to mind is Ken Kenkichiro Iwai. Uh, after all, she knew about his crimes. But then Iwai was supposedly able to control Michio by intimidation alone. There's also that teacher who was taking advantage of Michio, Kohei Jon Jono Uchi. But to say he killed her to stop people from finding out that he was blackmailing her doesn't seem likely somehow. You're right. Though both of them have fallen prey to her curse. That's true. In that case, it's quite possible she'll also decide to exact revenge on the person who ran her over. Not just possible, she may have already done it last night, just like with EY. Is there anything else that could have served as a motive? That talisman, maybe. The one Yoshimi was looking for. Oh, do you think someone wanted to take it from her? Well, the talisman wasn't found on her remains, nor in her house. Hmm. But doesn't a hidden run seem like too drastic a measure to go to for a little talisman? Then, in the end, it might have just been an unfortunate accident after all. Yeah, it looks that way. Either way, what we need now is a testimony from Michio herself. With a bit of luck, we may be able to ask her what happened during her during the crash ourselves. Yeah, I can't wrap my head around that particular development. I still have my doubts that it'll be so easy. Either way, we won't be able to do this unless Mio and Yako turn up. I'd rather have him come sooner rather than later, but I guess we just have to wait. Shall we head inside? All right, then. Oh, hey, Ario, I wanted to ask you something. Aye, aye, boss. Jeez, you're an eager beaver. I haven't even said what it was yet. Right. Well, what is it, then? Can't remember what you had for dinner last night? Looks like that agent over there is having some trouble with his pen. So if you've got a spare, go lend it to him. And for the record, I had Katsudon last night. No need to worry about me going senile just yet. Uh, I know I look like a genius, but I didn't think I came across as the type to carry spare pins on my person. You? A genius? You're dreaming. But if his pin just stopped working, he can get it going again with a bit of nail polish remover. Nail polish remover? Yeah, you know. What you used to remove nail polish? Never used it before? Do I look like I would have? Don't make me sound crazy for not having used this stuff. I doubt you have either. Oh no, I've used it alright. Did you know that it can remove oil-based ink stains? Which is also why it can be used to fix old, dried-up pen nibs. Whatever is in there uh, that removes the ink also doubles as a way to unclog pens. Huh, good to know. Still wouldn't call you a genius, but it's something. You gotta make sure the remover doesn't mix with the ink, though, or it'll ruin it. Doesn't that defeat the purpose? Not to worry, I don't have nail polish remover on me right now, anyway. Oh, no problem, then. That doesn't fix anything. Long story short, I don't have a spare pen. Jeez, alright. I'll let him know. Uh, that seemed like an awkward way to integrate that information. Boss, I thought we were going to wait for Mio in the school. Alright, let's go wait inside the school. I'm sure they'll be here any moment. Uh, the record of fates in scroll may contain a way to put the stop to the curse. Yako and Mio head back to the Kamigata High School to share their own information with Tsutsumi. Ain't that interesting? <clears throat> Ain't that interesting?
Ain't that interesting. The record of fate's in scroll, huh? Well done, you two. That's some good info you got from that teacher. Thank you. Good job, boss. Operation Schoolgirl is a success. Ario, stop making things sound weird. Stop saying weird shit. Just stop saying it. Anyways, let's share what we found at, uh, at Michio Shiraishi's house. Yes, please. Yes! A man named Iwai kidnapped sacrifices for black magic. And Michio helped with the kidnapping. And Mr. Jono Uchi used that to blackmail her. Based on the report and looking at the circumstances surrounding the deaths of Jono Uchi and Iwai, if Michio Shiraishi did it, it would make sense. Furthermore, there are signs that Michio Shiraishi wanted someone to notice. Huh? Really? The ribbon that was left at the scene of Kohei's death is proof of that. Mio, I'm guessing you knew that already. Uh, yes. Ever since this morning. But there's one piece of information I need. But I think we're near her limit. Uh, about the record of Fate's Yun Scroll. So if you get this record of Fate's Yun Scroll, we'll be able to dispel the curse. Yes, the source of the curse is a tragic event called Tohonjo Incident that dates back to the Edo period. An Onmyoji named Simon uh, Suchi Mikado is said to have recorded a way to deal with the curse. So I think there may be a way to dispel the curse. Right, I'll leave how to approach this to you, Mio. I'll check with Paranormal Affairs Bureau as well, but please make finding the record of Fate's Yin Scroll your top. Oh my god. I'll check with the Paranormal Affairs Bureau as well, but please make finding the record of Fate's Yin Scroll your top priority. Understood. But how do we go about looking for it? It's possible the descendants of Simon have inherited it, but I don't think they're aware of its existence. It'd be nice if we had a clan crest or something to go off of. Maybe we'll have to ask Paranormal Affairs. That reminds me, Mio. Was the Western black magic used by Iwai and Nejima really just an imitation? Huh? Why are you asking me? Oh, uh, boss said that you know about this sort of thing. Do, do you not? Uh, well, I mean, I have some knowledge, but... How strange, I don't think I've ever told anyone that. It's okay, Mio. No one's judging you. Right, but it still feels a little weird. So, what's your opinion on, on it as someone familiar with Western black magic? Hmm, if I could have a look at their grimoire, I could be sure, but... Based on their methods, I'd say they imitated black magic popular around 300 years ago. It was advertised as magic anyone could use, and was employed as camo uh, camouflage to evade witch hunters. It's notable because they purposely require living sacrifices to make it difficult to disprove its authenticity. Wow, you know so much. I'm impressed. It totally matches with the vibe you've got going on. What do you mean by that? Don't worry. Have some confidence. Um, right. Thanks, I guess. If that black magic is just an imitation, then we probably don't have to worry about it. I'm just glad things are get aren't getting even more confusing than they already are. Oh, right. About the mastermind. I had an idea. Huh? What was? What is it? This is about the chairwoman of Hihaku Soaps, isn't it? You mentioned her when you were telling us about that EY person. Yep. Whether the goal is to restore youth or to resurrect someone, she's got her hands all over this. She has money, too. It would also match Hideki Araishi's Ari account of the woman's voice. An evil business lady with supernatural powers. A classic setting. If only we could confirm those powers were, of hers were actually real. We'll need to keep an eye on her. I'll tell HQ to look into her. Now then, if we're nearing the limit, I'll stop beating around the bush. Time to tell it to you straight. Yako Sakazaki. What? Me? Yes? Take out your curse stone and give it to Mio. My curse stone? It's just been in my pocket all this time. Thanks. I'm just going to borrow it for a second. Well? Yes. There are soul dregs inside after all. What? How did this happen? I didn't do anything, I swear, you have to believe me. It's okay, we know. Yako, calm down and listen to what I'm about to tell you. But, there's no mistake that Jono Uchi and Iwai were killed by that cursed stone. But the one who committed the act is... The ghost of Michio Shiraishi that is inside you, Yako Sakazaki. Called it. What? What? Inside me? What? What do you mean? It's okay, Yako. Please, calm down and listen. 
You've been possessed, Yako. By Michio's ghost. What? Probably happened when you were offering flowers at the site of the accident. Filled with regret, her lingering ghost reacted to the presence of her old friend and entered you, Yako. No way! You mean Michio's ghost is inside me? I've explained this once before, but just because you've been possessed doesn't mean that you lose control of yourself. Normally, the mind will reject such attempts and did, it'd do nothing more than affect one's mood or energy levels, but Michio had powerful spirit sense to begin with. And because she was your friend, your mind was open to accepting Michio's spirit. So for those reasons, your minds merge without any issue. It's going to be difficult to separate her from you at this point, which also means it will be difficult to guide her spirit to the afterlife. No way! We've merged? Me and Michio's minds are... But I don't feel different at all. I mean, I'm me, I think. That's because after she merged with you, Michio started to believe she was you as well. As a ghost possessing you, she's not fully conscious, only really a jumble of vague memories. Still, there are traces of her consciousness and memories as Michio Shiro Ishii. You have been acting a little different from usual. You would also sometimes react when coming into contact with things with powerful influence. Really? That having been said, if we don't have a proper understanding of the regrets Michio Shiro Ishii had when she died and why, it would be difficult to separate her from you. That's why I didn't say anything. I'm sorry. If I carelessly provoked her ghost, it could have risked causing her to dig even deeper into your mind. Oh no. When we mentioned limits earlier, we mean that by letting things proceed like this, there's a possibility that you will join completely, making it impossible to separ separate her ghost from you. If that happens, you'll never be able to tell which of your thoughts belong to her and which belong to you. What? That's so scary. You mean I won't be myself anymore? Ah, oh, but if it's Michio, then maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Oh, I don't know. What should I do? Ah, oh, but... I, it was actually Michio who used the cursed stone while I was unaware, wasn't it? Doesn't that mean her ghost has already taken over my body? Well, about that. I think that's probably the effect of the curse amplifying murderous impulses and the influence of the Feast of Shadows. While you were sleeping, the ghost powers were boosted. And strengthened by the feast, Michio's consciousness surfaced and took control of your body. That's... Then that means... I was the one who killed them. I cursed them both. <laughs> Yako, no. You were being controlled. Right, Inspector? Yeah, that's right. It's likely she'd be recognized as not being responsible for the crime due to the possession. It's not something you can control. No need to worry about that. No, you're wrong. I wanted to kill them too. Those feelings must have come out. It's not only Michio's fault. I mean, when I learned that Michio didn't commit suicide, I wish that all the cruel adults around me would just die. I had the curse stone with me, and I wanted to get revenge for Michio if the chance came. That's how I felt. Yako. Because, because, Michio wasn't able to escape her terrible situation. It was so hard. It wouldn't be unusual for someone to take their own life. And I, I had this curse stone. I made Michio get revenge all by herself. Michio tried so hard to keep on living in silence, and I treated those feelings like they were worthless. I should have done it myself right away. Ah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Michio. Ah, ah. That's why... I killed them. Yako! There you are. Oh, hi, Michio. What is up with you? You've had me worried sick since you haven't been coming to school lately. Feels like it's been forever. I'm glad you seem to be doing good. Yeah, sorry. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you why. I've always regretted it. Oh, come on. You're acting like we, weren't, we aren't buds. You tell me if anyone is making you sad and I'll take care of them. <laughs> Thanks, Yako. Actually, I'm here because there's something I wanted to tell you. Really? What's the matter? You can tell me anything. Well, the truth is, I did something un unforgivable to an innocent man. Saying that I was forced to and didn't have a choice doesn't undo it. I'm sorry. I feel so guilty. What? I've done so much I can't take back, all because I was weak. There's no escaping the hell that I've created for myself. I couldn't handle it anymore. I started thinking about killing him and dying myself. Neither of us deserve to live in this world. What? But something went wrong, and that's why I died with regrets. But thanks to you, I finished what I wanted to do. Thank you. I'm sorry for dragging you into this. What? Wait, you don't need to apologize. 
It's only now that I realize, and I know how selfish it is. But I hope you remember the time we spent together as friends, and how we were able to be together at the end. Please, don't forget me. Huh? No, Michio, wait! Hmm? Huh? You're awake. Do you feel okay? I'm sorry I had to spring that all on you, Yako. What? Is this... Are we in the classroom? Huh. Was I dreaming? I'm sorry to rush this long while you're still gathering your feelings, but we need to hear what Michio Shiro Ishii has to say. Now. Right. And so, after considering what to do... It is true that Michio's consciousness is mixed with yours, but if I summon her ghost, we may be able to establish some communication. Oh, I understand. So you thought to use the spirit board again? Yep, I have a hunch. I think the spirit we called last time may have actually been Michio herself. Really, you think? And that her spirit has been close to you ever since then. Then let's do it. I think we should, and I want to hear from her. Very well. I have no idea if this will work during daytime, but let's give it a try. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Do you remember how to do it? Place your finger on the 10 yen coin. Right, like this. Good, now do as I do. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, please visit us. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, please visit us. Please tell us if you are there. It's here. Now, is it the spirit of Michio? Yako, would you ask the spirit? All right. Are you Michio Shira Ishii? Oh, specter of the spirit board. Are you the spirit of Michio Shira Ishii? Ah, it said yes. Don't be so sure. Some spirits like to play tricks. Can you try asking it a question only Michio would know the answer to? Question only Michio would know the answer to. Let's see then. Oh, Specter of the Spirit Board, how much did the ribbon I bought with Michio cost? Four hundred and ninety yen. That's right. Well, it seems you have the right spirit. Okay, can I have you ask her a question? Okay, what do you want me to ask her? I want you to ask about the location of Fumachika Nejima's hideout and the location of the talisman as well. Okay. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, please tell me the location of Fumichika Najima's hideout. And doesn't know. Please, terrible things will happen if it isn't captured soon. I'm sure it's painful to try and remember, but you're the only one who can help us, Michio. Please. You moved. This is an address. She's giving us the address. Amazing. Thank you, Michio. Okay, I have the address. Thank you. All right, Ariel. Get a move on and check out that address. Yes, sir. I'll contact HQ and order a simultaneous house search and a sweep of the area. I just hope the information is accurate. I know it is. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, do you know where the talisman that you had is? She does know. I wonder if we can find a way to narrow it down. I'll try asking. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, did you carry around the talisman with you at all times? So, she did carry it with her. Then, did you have it with you when you had your accident? Huh, she had it with her. But there was nothing resembling a talisman in the articles left behind at the scene. So that means someone took it with them and ran off with it before the scene was investigated. But who would do that? This would mean someone knew Michio had died before the police did. The first person to discover and report it was the caretaker of the apartment building next door. Should we check with them? Let's see. The other possibility I can think of is the perpetrator of the hidden run. But it was a hidden run. Wouldn't they have run away? It might be possible they came back driven by fear or something else. Even if so, they didn't report it and went through her belongings. 
But to only take the talisman seems hard to believe, unless they were after the talisman from the very beginning. How likely is that, if the talisman really is so special? Ariel mentioned the same thing, but to run someone over just to take something from them. It's possible they just picked up the talisman after hitting for no particular reason. Either way, if it really was a hidden run, then I hope they get caught. It's possible she remembers something after seeing that picture of that car. Then, shall we try asking? I'll try. Who is responsible for the hidden run? Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, do you know who is uh, behind the hidden run? She says she knows. That's a relief if she hadn't known. Huh? In order for Michio's spirit to find peace, we need as much detailed information about what happened as possible. We can't send her off to the afterlife if we don't know what happened when she died. This isn't like a forced exorcism. Huh? So what? Uh, that's what it'll take. All right, I'll try asking. Right. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, who is the one who ran you over? I hope she knows the name. I wonder. Namagaki. Huh? Namagaki? What? You mean Yutaro Nagagaki? You two know him? We talked with him after we left the cafe. He used to be a curse bearer, right? Ah, I see. So that's why Yako had that reaction when she saw him. What? Come to think of it, that guy said he wanted to talk about Michio. What? The hell is he planning without his curse stone? He said he'd be waiting near the Rio Goku Bridge. Got it. I'll join you there once we're done. He's the bastard who killed Matt Michio? Yako. This should be enough information. We can release Michio from her suffering now. Uh, night terrors. Play the game in the middle of the night. Uh, don't be a quitter. Play the game again after three days. All right. Oh, it's midnight now. That's why that's happening. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. No, Michio. Thank you. You helped us. You know. I'm so sorry I didn't know about it all. Your family, the kidnapping, Mr. Junoichi. I'm so sorry. It must have been so hard. Not that I could understand, but I'm sure it was so hard. I mean, of course you would want revenge. I wanted it too. We've all done things that we wish we could take back. But I'm glad that I at least know the truth. Yako. There's so much I want to say, but that's enough. Let me just ask you one last thing. Someday, can we hang out again? Aww. You mean it? Okay, it's a promise. Have you asked everything you wanted? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to guide Michio's spirit now. Yeah, it's time to say goodbye. Michio, with this, I'll finally be able to free you. Hey, Yako? Yeah? You never accepted the idea that Michio took her own life. I'm glad you never stopped trying to find the truth. Yeah. You're right. Even though I didn't realize just how hard things were for her. Mio? Sorry. It's just Michio. She was taken advantage of by so many adults around her. She put up with so much. I should have tried and talked with her more. I know how you feel. Thanks, Mio. It hurts thinking about all the things I could have done. Why did this have to happen to someone so kind and hardworking? It feels like she was ill-fated to the very end. It's just too cruel. But even then... She didn't even tell me about this stuff. And she let herself worry more about revenge than living. I mad at her for that. Sure, I should have noticed something was wrong, but come on. Oh, what was she thinking? Seriously, I mean seriously. Am I really that unreliable? Of course I'd help you get your revenge, you idiot. I don't care how you had... Uh, I don't care how you had changed or whatever. I just wanted you to live. Yako. I'll take responsibility for what's been done. But one day, if we meet on the other side, 
I'm going to have to give her a good punch. Then tell her she's the real fool's procession or something. Then we'll hang out like always. <laughs> that sounds like fun. All right. I'm sending her off, okay? Oh, wait. Look, the coin. It moved to no all on its own. You're right. When did it do that? It seems she still has something keeping her hair. Yako, do you have any idea about what Michio wants? Me? Oh! Please, don't forget me. I think she told me that she didn't want me to forget. I see, then... Michio, you can hear my voice. Let your feelings know... Uh, let your feelings that you won't ever forget her be known. Show it through an action. What? Do something that shows you won't forget. Uh, I, I don't know what you want from me. see you again. Thank you. Though, I don't really want you to punch me. So, live a long life, okay? I'll see you later. Yako, are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, I feel a lot better. I guess I really wasn't feeling my se like myself recently. It was like there was a part of me that I had no control over something. Yeah, I think you're back to your normal self now. I'm glad there weren't any problems. I wonder if Michio was able to find peace. I know she did. You don't have to worry about that. It seems that her regret was not being able to tell you what was going on and growing apart from you. Well, I guess I can forgive her for that. But there's still something bothering me. Really? Yeah, I wonder what this feeling is. It's like there's a piece of her that hasn't left yet. Hmm, it may be an after effect. Maybe because you gave your stone to Chief Inspector Satsumi? Doubt it. Having a curse stone shouldn't have any effect on your body. But dealing with first four curse stones sounds like a lot of stress. Good work, Chief. Someone's like a completely different person all of a sudden. But are you really sure about this? Having us arrest you once this is all over. You might be able to get your case treated as just an accident. It's fine. Treat me the same as someone who used a curse stone to kill someone. If anything, I should be thanking you for letting me go free until this is all over. So thanks, Chief. Is the chief one of Simon's uh, descendants? Whoa, whoa, you didn't say anything about bringing the police. Sorry, but we don't have time to care about what you have to say about us. What business do you have with this girl now that you've lost your curse stone? I'll tell you this for free, I have her curse stone already. Uh. Yutara is visibly shaken. That must mean there's some reason he doesn't want the cops around. There's a lot of traffic around here. It's very noisy during the day. The amount of exhaust coming from cars is overwhelming. I hear it's not healthy. Is Ayame here? Mockingbird number 11. I don't have any ill intentions. I wanted to tell you that I want to help if you intend to resurrect Michio Shiri Ishii. It was my intention from the beginning when I received my curse stone. And that's why I took your curse stone, man. Man can't get, 
Uh, man, can't be too careful. Besides, what connection do you have to Michio Shiraishi? We, um, met once. I was so sad to hear the news of her death the other day. Uh-huh. Met once. I see. Well, I'm sure it must have been painful for you, but... Do you think bringing back the dead will erase the fact that you hit her with your car? What? I'm sure that I have no idea what you're talking about. If you don't know, I'll tell you, and you'll let me ask you some questions in return. Uh... Did you just get your license recently? Hmm? We found a van with bloodstains on it, you see? It's only a matter of time before we find out who the owner is. What's that supposed to mean? Why don't you tell me a little bit more about your relationship with Michio Shiraishi? Not only that, you killed someone with your curse stone, didn't you? Stop. Stay away from me. Damn it. Okay, okay, I give up. Ah, it's all over for me. Afterwards, Yutaro Namagaki gave his confession. He admitted that he was behind the wheel of the van that hit Michio Shiraishi. He explained that he was speeding in order to impress a girl. Uh, he explained that he was speeding in order to impress a girl he had hit in the car with him. After hitting the schoolgirl, he drove away and planned to wash the car in secret to destroy the evidence. But he became nervous and went back to the scene of the crime at the urging of his passenger. When they returned to the scene, the female passenger went to check the victim alone while he sat panicking in the car. When she returned, she told him people were unlikely to assume a hidden run, as it looked similar to a suicide by jumping from height. Afterwards, the pair parted ways and Yutaro dumped the vehicle deep in the woods under the cover of night. The two of them decided to keep the accident a secret. Next morning, Michio Shiraishi's body was discovered, and luckily for them, her death was ruled suicide. However, the darkness lingered within his heart. From that day on, the schoolgirl appeared before him covered in blood, her limbs bent and broken, despite him and his dreams every night. Even when awake, he would see a phantom of her corpse in the dark, moaning and cursing him at all times. Troubled by the constant hallucinations, it was only a number of days before he suffered a nervous breakdown. He couldn't bear hiding what he'd done anymore and planned to turn himself in, but was stopped by the passenger from that night. It was then that he first heard rumors of the rite of resurrection. He thought it that if he could resurrect the schoolgirl, that it would be like if the accident never happened, and with that the darkness enshrouding his heart could be dissipated. From then on, he searched the areas associated with the seven mysteries of Hanjo every night, and he received the curse of the foot-washing mansion as a result. I see. That's right. I'm not a bad man. I wanted to turn myself in. It was that girl who tempted me. Okay, okay. Calm down and listen, son. If you don't think you've done anything wrong, what would these girls think if they saw you run over that poor girl? Ugh. There's something I want to know. Do you know anything about a talisman that Michio should have had on her at the time of the accident? Talisman? What are you talking about? Hmm, so you don't know anything. In that case, what about that woman who is with you? Can you ask her? Oh, that's right. Everything is her fault in the first place. Well, that may not be exactly wrong. Just riding past her in a car involved in non-voluntary mans vehicular manslaughter isn't a crime in and of itself, but according to your statement, she neglected her duty to seek aid and instigated you to neglect your duty to report the accident. And if she took an article from the scene, she'd also be charged with theft. Can you tell me who she is? You have no intent of hiding anything anymore, do you? Yeah, that's right. It's her fault. Do what you want with her. It's time for her to face what she's done. Her name is Ayame Tono. She's an art student I met in town. What? An art student named Iomi Tono. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you absolutely sure of that? What point would there be in lying to you now? What, do you know her or something? She may look nice, but she's rotten on the inside. I'd like to meet the parents who raised someone like that. Shut up. It's his daughter. What's wrong, Inspector Satsumi? You're drenched in sweat. Ah, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Damn it, why? How could this happen? Listen up. I'm taking this one with me down to the station for more questioning. You two go after the record of Fate's Yen Scroll. Got that? Uh, okay. We will. Come with me. Whoa! Um... Let's get going. Yeah. Darkness. Imprisoning me. All that I see, absolute horror. Ugh. Ah, my head. Ugh, what's happening? 
who killed him won't get away with it. Ihaku. Yoshimi. Huh. Did I hit my head? It's killing me. My vision is all blurry. Is that the ceiling? I feel the cold floor against my back. I must have fallen or some I must have fallen or something. My body won't move. Why? And why am I on the floor in the first place? No. Hold on. More importantly, who am I? Okay, think, think. Try to remember something, anything. Ah. Uh. Gah, feels like my head is going to split apart. Ah, uh, what was that? That man's face, I think I've seen it before. Think, I'm sure I know it. Yoshimi. Hajime Yoshimi. That's it, I know that name. The dark mist obscuring my memories is slowly, slowly starting to clear. Ah, oh, my head is hurting again. What was that? A memory of mine? Hajime and I, I think we were close, but the first thing I saw, he was dead. Did I? Just what kind of person am I? can move again, and I think my head is starting to clear. Looks like I'm in some kind of warehouse. Maybe I can find some clues as to what happened. I should take a look around. You can press suspend at any point in this chapter and start again from the same point when you select resume. If you get stuck, try playing a different route before returning to this one. It won't open. Must be locked from the outside. So I really am locked in here. I don't know what's going on, but I doubt I can afford to take my time here. I think that we're uh, Yoshimi's fiance. There's a key to the sink. Ah, if I can use this to see what I look like, it might help me to remember who I am. Ah, no good. This mirror is completely unusable with all the grime that's built up on it. I wonder if I could clean it somehow. There's a little sink here. It's pretty dirty. Hope I don't have to use it. There's water dripping from the, from the faucet, but the knobs are sunk. The knobs are stuck. I can't move them in either direction. <clears throat> There's a bunch of garbage in the corners. My guess is that this room isn't used very often, if at all. I can't just wait here for someone to come by uh, to rescue me. Uh, I can't just wait here for someone to come to my rescue. I need to look for a way out. folding chair, all alone in the middle of the room, gives me the creeps for some reason. They must have sat me on it earlier. It probably passed out and fell on the floor. Some strange lockers. There's a bucket and a mop in the left locker. Guess that's where they keep their cleaning stuff. Some lockers. There's nothing inside, but there's a piece of paper stuck to the front. Chemical, flammable, liquid, ventilation. If leaked, equipment integrity thoroughly. That's quite the collection of words. What could this place be used for? A typical office desk. There's all kinds of stationery on it. Is there anything that looks usable? There's this pen, but I don't really need it. I'll leave it here for now. Doesn't look like there's anything in the top drawer. There's some kind of note in the middle drawer. Uh, alkyl, benzene, benzyl, conium, chloride, sulfonic acid, sodium, hydroxide. Names of chemicals? Maybe this is some kind of chemical plant. Nothing in the bottom drawer. No wait, there's something stuck way in the back. Looks like there's some kind of sticker stuck back there, but it's too dark to tell what it is. Ok, 
cabinet straight out of my office. Let's see what happens if I slide this open. Looks like there's nothing inside. I'll try the drawer, starting from the top. Nope, totally empty. Hmm? This last drawer, it's different from the others. There's a padlock with a four-digit combination. I have no idea what the combination could be. Better leave it for now. This look lock looks brand new compared to everything else. Is this room being used for something? Hmm? What's this? Label's been torn off, but this must be soap. There's quite a bit left inside. I might be able to use this. Uh, might as well keep it on me. Soap acquired. Big shelf used in storage spaces. Bunch of uh, messily stacked cardboard boxes. I took a peek inside, but it was too dark to see much. I need more light. Switchboard. Looking inside, it seems that this room has electricity, at least. Does that mean someone is using this place for something? There's an air duct on the ceiling. Could this place have been a factory at some point? Wish I could call, crawl through it to escape, but I don't see any way to get into it from here. Typical office dust. There's all kinds of stationery on it. Oh, I could use the soap to clean off that grime. I should have known that just putting soap on the mirror wouldn't do anything. I need something to wipe it with. Fill the bucket with soap and use the mop to clear away m most of the grime. Soapy mop acquired. There's a soapy mop. I should be able to clean the mirror with this. Whoa, clean in one swipe. This soap is pretty good. I'll have to remember the brand. Yeah, we're the fiance. So this is what I look like. Right, yeah, this is me. I know this face. But something doesn't feel right. Something's missing. Oh, my name. I can't remember my name. I need to figure out what my name is. We got a new Yako. Um, Yako was possessed by Michio's spirit a few days ago, which caused her own thoughts to become muddled with Michio's. However, upon grasping what Michio was seeking to tell her and bringing peace to her lost friend, Yako returned to her normal self. Mayu Chozawa. Mayu Chozawa. I know what I look like. Next, I have to remember my name. Is there a woman with this face in my memories? Come on, I need a name. Mayu. Mayu Chozawa. Yes, that's definitely it. My name is Mayu Chozawa. Mysterious woman. My name is Mayu Chozawa. That man I saw in my memories, Hajime Yoshimi, he's my fiancé. Wait. If what I saw was from my past, then Hajime is... No. Hajime could never be killed so easily. There must be some kind of mistake. Knowing him, he's probably worked himself into a frenzy looking for me. I have to get out of here and let him know that I'm okay. I feel a little better now that I've remembered who I am. I have to find a way out of here. 
It's so dark, though. My eyes are adjusting, but I still can't see well. There must be some kind of light around here. Hmm? It looks like the lights on the ceiling is on, but it's still so dark. Oh, there's dirt all over the bulb. Time for that mop to make another appearance. There, it's a little brighter now. I should have an easier time searching now. I just hope I can actually find something. It'll be easier to search the room now that the lights are on. Let's see if I can find anything. Hmm, there's something on the floor here. Was this here all along? I had no idea. A lantern carved out of wood. It's kind of creepy. Something about this feels different than the other abandoned jungle here. Oh, what is this? My fault. I'm sorry. Such a terrible regret. A resentful memory is flowing into my mind. The evil ones, the curse bearers, kill them all by their own... By their own bane? You have acquired the power of the curse stone, the beckoning lights. You can use it to kill curse bearers using their own curses. Press the use curse button when you wish to kill your target. Ah! Oh. Murderous impulse seeps into my soul like thick black tar. So she's being kept in the factory where, um... The detective was... Walking... Uh, we already know that... Kills by means of the curse they possess, one who has become the curse bearer. Vague silhouette is framed by silvery moonlight near the bridge. It is man, hunched over, near death, with regret carved on his face. Visions of the past flash through his mind. Memories of the young couple and their daughter. But he has lost everything. He had repaid the kindness shown to him with evil. The re regret gnaws at him now. It is too late to undo it. His mind turns to the Anmyoji woman. It was all her doing. No, the blame laid with him and his ex inexperience. He had foolishly involved himself with the forbidden, inviting evil into his life. I should have left the rite of resurrection well enough alone. The light of the man's life begins to fade as regret and anger wash over him and returns. If only I had accomplished it in the end. Alas, it's too late for that now. I am prepared for hell. Perhaps in another life I can fill my dreams. Even if this body perishes, I can atone for my sins. We'll need the Tycho. And the one sided greed. Huh. Huh. I remember now. I remember everything. I know why I was brought here. That's right. Earlier. Ha! Ha! Ugh! I feel sick. Where am I? Yes, that is correct. We finally have a confession. Someone's talking. On the phone? Yes, yes. Quite stubborn. We had to use the maximum dose of truth serum. Truth serum? Did they drug me with something? There's someone behind me. Can I get a look at them? Ugh, damn, my body won't move. It's the dude, yeah. Oh, you are awake. Ugh. Your head must be beginning to clear right about now. You, Takumi. Shit, you tricked me. Such a harsh accusation. It was you who was being uncooperative. What did you do to me? What was that about a truth serum? I assure you, you have nothing to worry about. You are in no danger. That being said, there may be some side effects. Memory loss, brain fog. It was you. You were the one who hurt Hajime. Try all you want. I'm not telling you shit. No matter. I already have everything I need. What? I'm in the middle of a call with the chairwoman. Why don't you have a rest while you wait? Hey, stop. Get away from me. Ugh. I'm 
Muscle conscious, if only barely. Concentrate. Focus on Takumi. I need all the information I can glean from this conversation. Correct. She does not seem to know where the... is hidden. Hajime Yashimi was the same. Yes. It was unexpected, but... No, he really did do something to Hajime. Ah, damn it, I'm fading. That was close. I have to keep listening. From Araishi. Yes, exactly as planned. As for Iwai, I expect... Yes, as soon as possible. Yes, the curse will likely... Tomorrow, according to Arishi. Huh. I can't. Just a little more. Yes, as long as we keep her in here, the curse will... Yes, she will certainly want to bring back her dead fiancé. Is he talking about me? Ah, I'm fading again. Keep it together, anything. I can learn. Yes, I will be leaving her here. I'll take the telephone with me. Ah, yes, that it, that is in the cabinet. It should pose no problem. Yes, I have changed the lock. The year of the company's founding. Ah, I can't hold on any longer. That's right, I remember now. That man is Takumi Yumioka of Hihaku Soaps. He showed up at my hair salon about a month ago. He came to ask me to try a new shampoo they'd made. We spoke about it again a few weeks later, but... He suddenly started asking me about my fiancé. I remember thinking that was pretty weird. Hihaku is a huge company, so I tried to be polite and answered all his questions. He wanted to know what kind of family Hajime came from, if there was anything special about them, or if he was near to anything. I thought it was so strange, I didn't give him any specifics. And then that night, he never came to the place we agreed to meet, so I went to where he said he'd be going, the former Yasuda Gardens. That's where I found his dead body. I was so distraught, I just ran away. I didn't want to believe what I was seeing. After that, I decided to put all my hopes in that rite of resurrection everyone was talking about. I searched desperately for anything I could find about the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. And then... Takumi showed up again. He told me that he knew something about how Hajime had died. I thought I would just act interested in what he had to say, but I fell for it completely. Next thing I knew, I was locked up in this room. Pumped full of drugs and left here on the floor, barely even conscious. I spent the night dreaming of him, praying for a chance at the rite of resurrection. And at midnight last night, I got the curse of the beckoning light. Between the drugs and the curse, I passed out. That must be why I lost my memory. But now I remember everything. It was Hihaku. They went after Hajime. They put me in here. During her school years, Mayu was the second in command of an all-female gang. She was known for having a glare so fierce that it could silence a crying child. It was during this time that she met Hajime ha uh, Yoshima, that she met Hajime Yoshimi, a member of a rival gang. At some point during the countless clashes between their gangs, the two fell into a peculiar romantic relationship. Although their taste in food, clothing, TV, and movies could not be more opposite, they maintained a comfortable union by staying out of each other's hobbies. After being forced to repeat her third year three times, she dropped out of high school and began apprenticing at a hair salon on the re recommendation of a friend. She also attended night school and was proud to earn her beautician license two years ago. Mayu always cut Hajime's hair. Although he seemed content with her work, remarking, my hair ain't much without Mayu's touch, she had been secretly plotting to give him a more stylish look. But why did they have to kill him? Was that Hihaku's doing too? What could they have wanted with him? I knew his job was dangerous, but why would the company like that go after an officer in the juvenile division? Ah, I get it now. All that about the shampoo is just to get to Hajime. Huh. Hajime, you were always the kind of guy who could shoulder any burden with a smile on your face. What burden were you carrying this time? 
To be targeted by a company that's more than willing to kidnap and drug people. Was it something you couldn't tell even me? No. Takumi said he had gotten some kind of information out of me using the drug. Could I have had Hajime's secret somewhere in my memories? If I did, what could it have been? Did Hajime tell me something? Can we go get the cabinet? Ugh, whatever it is, just let me say one thing. Fuck you, Hihaku. I'm not about to let any of you, uh, I'm not about to let any of this go the way you want. Yeah, that's right. It's up to me to protect any secret that Hajime was trying to hide. I'll finish whatever it is he didn't get a chance to. After all, it's always been up to me to clean up your messes. It's okay, whatever you got yourself involved in, I'm sure you had good reason. We're gonna take them for all they got, just you wouldn't see. Okay, let's let's go to the cabinet. Alright, it's about time I got out of this dump. Um, files. Hihaku. 1946. Oh yeah, Takumi said something about this. He said to put something in here and locked it. So there's probably something in there. Okay, the first number from the left. Well? Yes, it opened. Huh? But how did the year Hihaku was established suddenly appear in my mind? I had an idea when it might have been, but did I really get that lucky? Now that I think about it, there's definitely something different in the air here. Is this another side effect of the drug or something else? Well, it doesn't matter right now. I should see what's in there. What is this thing? Well, guess I might as well pull it out. Oh. And? It looks like a... It looks sort of like a phone, but there's no receiver. Oh, I know. This is a fax machine. I've seen commercials for these on TV. If I remember correctly, it's used to send copies of documents to other people who have one. What an age we live in where you can send letters and things without going through the mailman. This means I can call for help without a telephone. I've never used one before, but if I can connect it to the power in the phone line. Alright, we've got power. Now I just need to figure out who I can send it to. What else do I need? I found a bunch of paper in the cabinet. I'll need a pen to write with. And I'll need a phone number for a fax machine to send this to. Hmm, what am I going to do about that? I need some nail polish remover. Manga magazine called Weekly Shonen Scorpion. I think Hajime used to read this, even at his age. He liked the series about delinquents. No, not the time to get up uh, caught up reminiscing. Looks like I definitely won't be using it. No, Mayu, this isn't time to start feeling sorry for yourself. Just watch, I'm gonna get out of here in, in no time. Hajime might be able to bust that lock, but I don't stand a chance. There's no opening the store from the inside. What do I do? There's a bunch of garbage in the corners. My guess is that the room isn't used very often. Locker with cleaning supplies. Nothing else seems useful. There's nothing inside, but there's a piece of paper stuck to the front. Alright, I've got a pen, now I can write messages. Though, I better check that it actually works. Count it, fax, fax machine is empty. Need a pen and a phone number for the fa fax machine. There's some kind of sticker in here, it looks like a delinquent penguin. Wait, is this? This is that thing. Hajime, thanks for waiting. Aw, oh, what's wrong? You're wasting that handsome face of yours looking like that. Hmm? You think? You think I'm still so handsome? <laughs> Can't argue with that. Are you not meeting with that girl today? Hitomi, I mean. Nah, she's off doing who knows what. 
That's too bad. I just found a hair catalog I thought would be perfect for her. Seems like you're pretty worried about her. Yeah, she reminds me of myself at that age. I can't help but worry. You think? I'd say she's a little ball of sunshine compared to what you were like. Shut up. I'm talking emotionally. She needs an adult who can understand how she feels. She's like a kitten. She thinks everyone around her is out to get her, so she bites at all, all of them. Huh, you might be right. So tell her I wanted to see her, will you? Sure, I'll do that, but... This other girl I ran into the other day is a tough case. Oh, she must really be something else if you don't know how to deal with her. No, it's not really that kind of thing. Some people just have so much misfortune thrown at them. What do you mean by that? Well, I can't really get into the details, but she might have the talisman I've been looking for. Said it was a memento from her father. Could we really be related? But it's not like I can just take it from her. What are you mumbling about? Who's related to who? Ah, eh, sorry, it's nothing. It's about that thing with your family, isn't it? Is she the one who has a piece of the book that your ancestor left behind? Mayu, how do you know that? God, I forget how dense you are sometimes. How long have we been dating now? Besides, you're the one who came crying to me about it when you got wasted that one time. Rambling about how this old book you're supposed to inherit is hidden in these two talismans, and that something was giving you a bad th feeling about it and you need to be careful. Oh. Right. That's all I know, though, and I wasn't planning to try and pry any further. But if it's something important you need to protect, then what are you waffling about? Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Mayu. I feel better now. Oh, that's right. Did you hear? The Mockingbirds were seen in Hanjo. Huh? That came out of nowhere. Mocking what now? It's an urban legend about these bird stickers that show up out of nowhere. I was always kind of curious about them, but I never thought they'd be in Hanjo. There may be a bunch showing up all over town, so we gotta keep an eye out. You feeling alright? What's getting into you? What's so special about these birds? Come on, one of them is a penguin with a pompadour. You can't tell me that isn't the greatest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> That's so dumb. That's right. He was trying to protect something left to him. Could that be the information that Hihaku wanted? There's nothing in the top drawer, right? An oil-based pen. The pen tip is totally dry. Won't be able to write anything with this. I wonder if I could fix it somehow. Huh? You can fix this with nail polish remover? What the... Why did that pop into my head all of a sudden? Well, might as well give it a try. If this is one of Hihaku's warehouses, there just might be some nail polish remover somewhere. What was in these cardboard boxes again? Ah, disposed bottles and soap. I wonder if there could be... There it is, nail polish remover. There's no label, but I'm sure that's what this is. Alright, so if I use this... The tip of the pen has been soaked in nail polish remover. I should be able to use the pen now, at least for a while. I need a pen and a phone number for a fax machine. I have a pen and some paper, now all I need is a phone number I can send a fax to. Do I know of anywhere that has a fax machine? fax machine. The number for our home is 63. Ma'am, is everything okay? I'm fine. There's just something I wanted to check. Is that so? I need a pen and phone number. Number is 63. It happened again. The number for a fax machine just popped into my head. There's no way all this information is coming from my own brain. Morphogenetic field? Could someone be sending me their thoughts? 
Never mind, I have to focus. Let's get this message sent. Now, I need to tell them where I am. If I tell them everything I know about this place, they should be able to figure out where it is. I already know where it is. First, I know I'm in a building owned by Hihaku, a factory or warehouse. As for the address, it should be close to... OMG Bridge. That's right, my curse echo is the beckoning light. That means this place must be near Hanji Bridge. Okay, time to send it. Uh, I think this is how you do it. Alright. If the machine I sent it to is connected, it should be sent. Now I wait. Please, somebody. Oh, the phones. Be my guest. You wouldn't want to keep them waiting. Thank you. I shouldn't be long. Hello, Shigama re residence. Oh, it wasn't the phone. What's wrong? Ah, oh, nothing. It was just the fax machine. I'm still not quite used to it. Oh, this is the fax machine? Amazing. So this is how they look. This is incredible. Goodbye to snail mail, am I right? This is the future. I didn't think it would excite you so much. Oh, oh, something came out. Is it finished? I could watch this thing all day. Huh? What is this? It looks like it was written in pen, but... What's it say? What's it say? Hmm. It says, help. I'm trapped in a Hihaku Soaps warehouse or factory near Honji Bridge. Huh? Hihaku? Why would somebody send me such a message? Am I being pranked? No, this is too fishy to be a coincidence. I wouldn't put it past Tihaku to have someone locked up if it's got any, anything to do with procuring the right. We should check it out. Hopefully we don't find anything so sinister. After looking around, I determined the abandoned factory is indeed Hihaku's. An abandoned factory near the Honji Bridge, everything lines up. So the person who faxed us uh, for help is in there. Let's find out. If there's nothing, we should wrap it up fast. Um, but isn't this place locked? Don't underestimate, don't underestimate me, ma'am. I can make short, wor short work of simple locks. Oh my, you truly are something else. Please be careful, then. Um, did that unlock it? We still have something green here. Let me do this one real quick. And then I'll wrap up. Well, I suppose we may as well hear what it is you have to say. Glad to hear it. Then shall we re relocate elsewhere? Ryo Goku Bridge. So, what did you want to discuss with us? Let's see, how do I put this? I'll tell you straight. I want you two to use your curse stone to bring Michio Shiro Ishii back from the dead. What? That's why I was pursuing the rite of resurrection in the first place. Unfortunately, I had to give up my curse stone before I could succeed. But you two are curse bearers with some kind of connection to her, which means this is a perfect opportunity for me to ask you for this. Um, well, I'm sorry, this is all so sudden. I still don't understand why you would want this. What exactly is your relationship with Michio? Well, we met briefly once. I was so sad to hear the news of her death the other day. Right. Well, it would be great if we could bring Michio back, but we've already decided not to use the right of resurrection. Is that so? It seems, however, that we share a goal. I wouldn't mind collecting the soul dregs for you if you gave me your curse down, you know. We'll have to decline that as well. Our goal is to stop this curse. I see. Well, that's too bad. I suppose I'll have to give up on the curse stones. Thank you for your understanding. Phew. 
I thought he was a little suspicious, but he left without making a fuss. But why does he want to bring Mich Michio back? Huh? Yako? Uh-oh. Did she go off somewhere while we were talking? I finally caught up to you. I don't know if you noticed me following you or not, but leading me to a secluded place, you've got guts. I'm sorry, but I'll be taking your curse down. Either you hand it over or I'll have to take it by force. What? Why are you... No, no, no. She's here again. I don't understand. Ah, wait. It was, it was just an accident. I swear, I didn't mean to. That's why I was trying to bring you back. You're all ready. Too late. Oh, that's an ending. Okay. So we got to our first ending. After this, Fumichika Nijima went on to use the power of his curse to commit mass murder, shocking the public with the unprecedented tragedy. And from that day on, Yako Sakazaki was never heard from again. Ending 1, Michio's Grudge. Uh, Michio's Grudge reached Yako Sakazaki's ending. Alright, so we've got Manhunt, and let's do this next, and then we need to figure out how we can unlock this. Uh, we have done a lot so far, uh, so I'm going to cut the video there, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for joining me for another Night of Strange with Games. I love you, have a good night.